All right, guys, so just gonna continue the day um, with the dogs quietly just reflecting um, and keeping quiet. So we'll be seeing you tomorrow for a brand new day. Um, and for those of you who do celebrate Holy Weekend, um, a happy Holy Weekend to you guys. And um, hope you guys had a good day today. Love you, mm, bye. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Good morning, Mubble High Squad. Yes, it is Saturday morning. Yay! Up, awake, bright and early. I actually was working at like 5.30 this morning or 5 a.m. And the dogs are busily wrestling in the sun as they always do at this time. The sun comes streaming in and the dogs just like come here. They love basking in the sun uh, and it's great. And then it's a beautiful morning. See that? See that, guys? Beautiful. And I'm watching the sprinklers over there. See the sprinklers? That there is Wak Wak Golf Course, it's called. One of the most expensive golf courses um, and clubs to be part of. But I love, I love the open space of the greenery there. And every morning they run the sprinklers to keep the grass green. Go, 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 fight, fight, fight. <laughs> So funny. I love these two. They just play all day long. It's exactly what we wanted for Cypher. Can you imagine Cypher went a whole puppyhood one year? Just RJ and I trying to play with him. <laughs> but we can't do it like a dog can. And um, growing up with dogs, I always felt that, yeah, you can have one dog, but there's just something about having more than one dog because you see behaviors that you don't see until you bring another dog into the picture. And what's interesting is I have found that as you get more and more dogs, more of their personalities start to show. Like we'll see sides of both of them that we haven't seen yet once we add a third dog to the picture, which we will do in the future. Ah, it feels so good to get lots of work done before the entire day starts, you know what I mean? It's like, what, six something, and I was able to do work on the Ants Canada video uploading this evening. Um, also, other Ants Canada work. By the way, guys, um, we're looking for a moderator or two for the new Ants Canada forum that's uh, coming, and for our current Ants Canada forum, actually. Uh, so, if you are an AC family, um, um, and you have experience in moderating forums um, and are willing to become a moderator on our forum, be sure to let us know. Just email um, info at antcanada.com and let uh, them know that, hey, I'm, I, I'm interested in being a moderator because we're currently looking for some good experienced moderators for the AC forums. So if you are ant keepers out there, ant lovers, and have experience in moderation, please do email us at info at antcanada.com. All right, yes, got so much work done, showered, all of that good stuff, finishing off my Cypher's coffee. Ah. And it's time for us to read our positive affirmations of the day. All right guys, positive affirmation for Friday, April the 3rd. I gladly give away that which I no longer need in preparation for getting all that I want. There you go guys, become a vessel of good. Let things flow from you so things can flow to you. Hope you enjoyed today's positive affirmation. And I love the orca whales, beautiful. So guys, here in the Philippines, yesterday, we had over 15,000 new cases of uh, COVID yesterday. That's crazy. Ugh, that's the most we've ever had, guys. So it's a little scary. I wanted to go for a run this morning, but then I'm like, mm, let's just minimize the number of times I have to go out there, enter an elevator and all of that. You know what I mean? It's just scary. So we've completely stopped our team from coming here um, until like things look like they're getting better to, you know, err on the side of caution. Every, all our team members can just work from home or stay home, right? Uh, they appreciate the break, I'm sure, as well. And yeah, just gonna have to work on everything virtually or do things ourselves for now. Guys, I'm messenger chatting with my mom. Hi, mommy. <laughs> Happy Easter, she says to everyone. I messenger video with my mom usually once a week or every few days or something. Just to check up. Yes. Can I see Pinoy? There's Pinoy. Where? Move a little lower. 
<laughs> there. Hey, Pinoises. Oh, I miss you. Mm. He's looking good. Oh, Chihuahua love. Pinoy, I can't wait. Here, look. This is your, like, long lost brother. Saif's Pinoy. He's busy eating. <laughs> Sahara, look. Look at Pinoises. Yes, one day you're gonna meet him. All right, thanks, mommy. What Facebook story? Your Facebook story? Yeah, every day I post from the Facebook. Oh, I, I will make sure to check your Facebook story. Yeah, every day, you know. Mommy, I can't see one you. Of my, one of the Facebook went up to almost 100, 100 views. Hi, Mommy, you're counting your views? My mom's counting her Facebook views for her stories. I'm on bed now. Yeah, what time is it there? It's uh, 11 quarter, 11 15. Oh, it's late. All right, well, tell Joseph I say hi too. We will. Bye, Tita. Bye, Tita. Bye, Tita. Bye, Mommy. <laughs> Sleep well. Take care. I will. Mmm, look at what RJ cooked. RJ, would you like to explain what this is? Just chicken with coconut. Chicken with coconut. Mmm, delicious. Squash. And squash. Let's eat, guys. In Filipino, this is called Gina Taang Chicken with calabasa, yeah. With squash. And huge chunks of garlic. Mmm, yes. <gasps> Oh my gosh, guys, look. Look at that squash. Oops! Wow, mm, this is a feast, guys. Seriously, do you guys like squash? Healthy carbs! Okay, let's try RJ's cooking. I'm gonna get a little bit of squash, a little bit of garlic, some of the sauce, which contains coconut, and a piece of chicken. Ooh, with skin. Yes, I love skin. Okay, guys, open, open, open. Have a bite. Mmm, isn't that great? Yum! Let's try it. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh my gosh, there's like three different like tones of flavor. When you put it in your mouth, you taste the coconut first, then you taste the squash, and then you taste the chicken. Mmm, <gasps> mmm. Oh my, mmm. Hey, this is really yummy. Oh my goodness, guys, this is great. Mmm. Wait, guys, I'm gonna do a mukbang view. Mmm, guys, it's so good. <gasps> Look at that, and there's even a hot pepper. See this? Mmm. But I can't wait for you to have your own kitchen, like with legit tools and stuff. Mmm, mmm, -mm. gotta put lots of sauce. Oh my gosh. Mukbang view. Oh my, yes. Squash. Mmm. Now you know I was thinking, RJ and I have been like on the fence regarding this matter. So we're gonna be moving on the farm, right? We're gonna be on the farm, and we're gonna have farm animals. So we've already talked about us having chickens, right? Now, here's the thing. Yes, we're gonna be collecting eggs, because that's what we're having chickens for. But are we going to kill these chickens? Inside, I feel like, yes, we should learn how to kill the chickens. I mean, we could also pay our neighbor <laughs> to like kill the chicken for us. If, because I asked Ate Elsie, I'm like, Ate Elsie, do you know how to kill the chicken? She's like, no, she knows, but she's ne she hasn't done it, you know what I mean? And she's an animal like a lover, like me. So she's like kind of scared to do it as well. But I think if we're gonna live on the farm, this is a skill we need to learn, guys. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And you know, I don't have any intention of going vegan. I love meat. And if I'm gonna eat it, I feel like, you know, I should have the balls to be able to like process it myself. Mm. What do you guys say? Have any of you killed a chicken? Do you guys know how to kill livestock? I don't even know how it's done. I remember when we had a chicken when we were small, my mom, who you saw, she's savage. She knows how to kill a chicken. She knows how to prepare it and cook it because she grew up in the province. I watched my mom kill my chickens. I was like, oh my God. And I was intrigued, like in a good way. I was a sick kid. Mm, so yeah, I was thinking if we have farm animals that we have to kill, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna treat them like pets. They're gonna be in their chicken coop, you know what I mean? I can love them and be grateful to them for giving up their lives unwillingly <laughs> for our nourishment, right? But I'll have to leave this whole mindset of like animals are family, you know what I mean? Like if these are gonna be animals that we're raising to eat, they need to be in a different mind space in my head. Like they need to be not pets. 
Does that make sense, guys? How about you? If you guys had, like, chickens, would you be able to kill them? And then I also figure, like, nothing of the chicken would go to waste. We would use every part of it. Like, we would chop the chicken up. Even before it's cooked, I can give the raw bones and meat to our dogs, right? Because they're raw. Bones are allowed if they're raw. I know it's organic. All that. Free range, our chickens will be grass-fed, you know? I'm excited. I'm excited to live on the farm. I'm excited to learn new things. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I think eventually I could learn to kill a chicken But if we're talking larger animals like a goat or a cow Forget it A pig? Forget it I can't do it I already know mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, So good to connect with parents, right? Thank goodness for technology Seriously I mean, had this been the age before the internet Which I was also part of I would, what? Have to write my mom letters <laughs> Like written letters and send them to her. I mean there was no other way really But now in this day and age, it's just amazing that I can ring her on my mobile or she can ring me when we see that you, Either of us are online. That is what I'm grateful for um, And that's also how it helps with being homesick. You know, I'm actually not that homesick When I talk to my mom and my mom shows me the dog or she's in certain parts of the house I'm like, oh, I miss home. I miss Canada, but because of technology. I'm just so grateful Grateful, the distance seems less even though my mom and I are literally on opposite sides of the world um, But Mabuhai Squad, I do have some amazing amazing awesome news that my mom told me Yes, and I can't wait to let you guys know this awesome news Mabuhai Squad My mom told me this <laughs> 